Well, today's the day I'm going to try to figure out how to take the seat off of this 2013 Expedition Sport by Bombardier. I couldn't figure it out for the longest time, and I've got a 2018 and a 2013. I'm just going to try the 2013 and, and, and check it out. So I've discovered that there's a little uh, hook here, a little handle you can pull back. You can lift it up, and I hear it snap. But I can't do anything beyond that, so it's got to be something else. Probably going to have to take something off here to get this uh, back piece off and then pull this front seat back, so I'll give that a shot. Well, there are a couple of torques. I think they're size 40 um, bolts on the side. I think I'm going to take those out and see what develops here. Well, of course, I, oh yeah, that's not coming out without a fight. Take two. I've already got the other side removed, so this will fall over. Oh, I guess not. Well, taking the backrest off didn't really solve anything. I don't have access to any anything else. I thought that maybe there was something hidden behind, behind that backrest, so i uh, have to take a look. I think uh, there's some sc screws underneath that uh, I might have to remove, so I, I will remove them. I am, I'm so curious now to get this entire seat mechanism off, that uh, or assembly off, that uh, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so you see two bolts sticking out there and a couple of bolts sticking out there. So I'm taking them all out and I think that should pop off the back part of the seat. And then that will probably allow me to pull the, uh, the front seat off using that tab. Trying it out. Okay, so after a little bit of fiddling, I managed to get those four bolts out. And then, boof. Now look, here's the reason I wanted to get at this. This is just a little mouse infestation. I'll have to deal with that and get some mothballs in there or something. But at least now, I feel that I can probably just pull on this and the seat will slide back. Boom, bingo. So that's it. Now, I mean, I just needed to get it done. I was just too curious after so many years of kind of putting it off. At least now I know. Okay, well, we'll get some of this debris off. Man, oh man, these mice, mice make a, mice make a mess, gotta say. Disgusting, and you know, it's life. Stored a little bit of food. And I'll tell you, they, they come out when I start the snowmobile in the spring. They run out. They run out. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Well, you know you're in Canada when. Yeah. Except it's mothballs. The mice don't like it very much. So hopefully that'll keep them away for the next few years. I'm gonna stuff them underneath the, uh, the seat wherever I can. Hopefully it's smelly enough that they won't come back. So putting it back together isn't so straightforward. Uh, it's pretty tight in there and it's hard to get your arms. My arms aren't long enough. But I'm basically putting putting the head of the socket in there and blindly tightening it. Uh, 
uh, so it's just it's requiring a little bit of finesse but it's almost done and uh, I've done the other side there we go so that's tight I've got this one tight this one tight I have one more to put in on the other side there there's actually a uh, there are two long ones. The two long ones go on on the back, and there are two shorter ones going onto the front. So I've got one more to put in on the other side, and then I can put the backrest on. Oh, I'm mad at myself, but I lost one of the bolts yesterday. Probably when I was rolling around in the snow with my coveralls on, I had the, the bolts in my pocket. So I'll have to locate one. But I can put three in for now. I'm putting the snowmobile away anyhow for the season. That's it. Okay, let's get this in. So I'll have to replace it. That's the way it goes. A bit mad at myself because I was rolling around on the ground with these coveralls. And I did have those four bolts in my pocket. So I should have known better. Rookie mistake. Okay, so I actually had to get my wife out to help me find <laughs> the Torx bit that fell into the into the uh, snow. So uh, she was able to find it. My eyes aren't aren't the greatest, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna pack it in for this uh, 2013 Expedition Sport uh, seat removal exercise. I, I really uh, like the fact that I was able to clean up uh, underneath the seat, put some mothballs in, get it all back together. Um, and that's it. So we're going to try the uh, 2018 uh, Expedition Sport next. Well, this is the 2018 Expedition Sport. And frankly, uh, I did check underneath the the rear seat uh, in, in the tunnel. And it's really the same as the 2013 seat removal. There's a little latch in the front of the front seat. But you can only pull off the front seat if you pull off the back piece there's no need to take off the handles here uh, the four screws underneath uh, in the tunnel will will just pop that rear uh, assembly off and then the uh, front seat will pop off easily with the um, with the handle that's under here pop it up and that's it so that's an easy one I'm not gonna take this one apart uh, and risk losing more bits or bolts and uh, we'll call it a day